All right, so start by going to this address here, techpowerup.com. I will also provide the link in the description box so that you can have easy access to it and to also make sure that you're going to the correct website. Once you get to the website, click Downloads. In the search downloads, type DLSS. This will give you a bunch of options here. You want to click on NVIDIA DLSS DLL and you want to download the latest version, which is 3.510 at the time of this recording. You should get a zip file, so just unzip it and you'll get a folder like this. Click on the folder. And now this is, if you hover over, you're gonna see that this is file version 3.510 and it gives you the company name, the file description. We need to copy this into the DLS folder for the game that we want to replace the older file with. All right, so make sure you go into your Steam folder. So mine's in my Windows C program files, 86 and Steam. Now you wanna copy the name, this name here from the file. It's gonna bring up a search of where all your DLS files are. So you wanna click on one of the files, right click, and you should see open file location. And that's gonna open the location to one of your games. This one is Diablo 4. And you'll see that there's a file there. If I hover over, you'll see that Diablo 4 is actually using an older version of DLSS. It's using 3.1. So if I wanted to, I can update to 3.5 with the latest one that I have. But I'm actually going to show you guys how to do this for Ready or Not, since Ready or Not is one of my main games on the channel currently. So I made a backup folder. This includes the old version so you can see that i renamed it old dot and then this was the default name so that we don't use the old file so you can see the the old file for ready or not is version 3.110 so just make sure that you check to see which file version the game is using before you decide if you want to update it now if we go back here if i hover over to this one you can see that it says 3.510 so this is a newer version of the lss that we just downloaded so when you first get to this directory, you're going to find the older version. So just make sure you rename it and you can either keep it renamed inside the same folder or you can make a backup folder and place it inside there. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.